Who let the cats out? Man, man, mountain and ling. Who let the cats out? The one, the only, the man, mountain link. If you have sensitive eyes, now's the time to close them. Either that or put on some of those dark glasses that you watch the sun. Not good. He did it all. Pull the holes. Try, try again. Alright, we're gonna make this one start to finish. See, we just finished firing it up, melted some copper shot, poured it in the mold, dumped it in this water over here. And this is what we got so far. We're gonna go polish this up and then put it in the shine dry. Tumble it. In case anybody was wondering, cheap gloves are cheap. And that's all they are is cheap. I got me a $65 pair on the way. Hopefully they last a little bit longer than this $20 pair. So, anyway, yeah. Before I got off track, we poured this little copper piece. Now we need to clean it up. Got my 25-year-old Dremel. Got my big red chewing gum. Got these little buffing wheels. I've ordered some wire brushes, but they, they haven't arrived. And I ordered them back in April, so maybe it was March 30th. Anyway, it's been a while. These are all different colors, but uh, I can't tell the difference, to be honest with you. We're just going to wear a few of them out on this piece right here and see what it looks like. We'll be right back at you. We got it good and halfway clean. Now we're going to soak it in a little bit of white vinegar and salt. This is uh, three to four hours later. I moved it to keep it in the sun. But uh, yeah, you can see just the uh, vinegar and salt solution cleaned it up pretty good. So we're going to take it out, rinse it off, and go over it one more time with the Dremel and the little pads for it. Just going to be a little Dremel work here on the back. Try to get those spots out. Everything else looks pretty good. Might run over the jawline a little bit there on the bottom, try to get that black off. Other than that, it's ready to put in the uh, in the shine juice. We'll be making that next. 
this is the shine bright part of the show. All right, this is shine bright. Doesn't come with any instructions. Had to reach out to the uh, community. And when I say that, I always mean I'm going to talk to Scrappy. So I got in touch with Scrappy and he said, to, have you been using purified water? And of course I hadn't been using purified water. And that's the trick to it, is make sure you only use purified water and steel media. This is stainless steel shot, but it sticks to a magnet, so it's not pure stainless steel, magnetic stainless steel. Is that, see, designed for use with steel media. So, here's my tumbler. I'll put one cap full of that, and then I'll put my shot, and then I'll fill it until it's about three quarters of the way full with water and then I'll put my copper piece in it and when this finishes I won't throw that out I'll just cap it and use it next time until it starts getting dark looking you know after I've used it a few times and it starts getting dark looking or something then I'll change it but uh, it seems to be working all right so this one's ready to go it had like a fault line right there so we opened it up a little bit and that should uh, allow a place for the tin to flow let's get it all shined up because the heat from the tin won't be enough to discolor this right so this needs to be ready to go polished up show perfect before we pour the tin, because the tin won't require any polishing. It'll come out with a perfect mirror finish if we do it right. So let's tumble this overnight and see what we got tomorrow. It is the next morning. See how I did that one hand? I'm so sick. I impress myself on a daily basis. Let's get that cleaned up and see what it looks like. Whoop, get back in the sunlight. Not bad. Got that spot up there, right? I always like them to come out and just I like how the forehead come out. That from like right here up it's fine. Anyway. We've got that split right there. And we're hoping that put some tin down in there. And we'll put something on this side. Won't be a copper bead this time, no sir, no copper shot, but uh, maybe something made out of tin, some kind of small piece. We'll be back at you. We got a small piece of tin right there. Put it right, right in there. More flat piece. This side has the seam that's opened up. We're hoping that's going to be enough. I don't know why I keep referring to myself as we. I'm not a we. But ne nevertheless, this is the tin we're going to use. It's 13.4 ounces. I usually use just to hold a pound and then I'll know you know I'll weigh what's left after right? you pour it then you weigh the remainder subtract it from a pound and you know how much tin you use because this stuff is $24 a pound it's 
four or five times more expensive than these other metals. People get surprised when they find out how much this stuff costs. But uh, let's get these warmed up. See what see what it does. That did not look good at all, did it? There was bubbles. There was bubbles. Might not be even able to see it. If there was bubbles, that means a significant amount of tin went under that uh, copper skull. Not looking forward to this. Thought practice supposed to make you better, not worse. I mean, come on. Mm. It is what it is. I was wanting more of this to fill in right here. Honestly, with bubbles, I was expecting more of a... Yeah, I was expecting like that much of it to be covered or something. Yeah, it looks like he's, it's, uh, this, the skull of the beastie boy that died of cancer, that's his microphone right there, that's his, that's his little, it's funnier when you're here, so you can laugh with me, otherwise it just feels awkward. Anyway, I'm not sure about this, we're going to have to, oop, there you are. Not quite what I was aiming for. Okay, uh, we just took a hammer and just tapped on it, especially on the tin. Don't want to mess up the pretty little copper. We got it loose. Now we're going to put something in there and kind of prise it apart, unpeel this, and start over. Try it again. No harm, no foul. We can keep doing this till we get it right, hopefully. Hopefully. Okay, second attempt. I'm gonna put a small piece of small piece of tin down in the cavity. And we're gonna melt that and let it cool there and then set the skull on top of it and then pour tin around it and see what happens. Wish me luck.
okay we have a little piece of tin under the tip of the jaw and we have a little piece of tin right there that may be too big to be honest with you but uh, we're going to try it and see what happens here Had lots of bubbles that time. We had bubbles last time and it didn't make it hardly around at all, so. Let's go ahead and look at it. See how bad it is. Oh, that's pretty good. I like that one. That came out pretty sweet. A little bit more tin than I wanted, but uh, I kind of figured that was how thick that piece was. There's places it's copper and there's places it's uh, tin. Yeah, I think this is, this is pretty alright. I want to say we're happy with that. There I go calling myself we again. Yeah, that's not, not too awful bad, is it? Tell me in the comments. I was like, oh, man. Kind of rubbed my head thinking, what am I going to say here? He says, he said, some gun's good, didn't he? <laughs> 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 that, that, that explains everything. I could, I could, I couldn't explain it any better. <laughs>